Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, in today's lecture, we are going to discuss about the second half of our chapter acid and bases. Like in this chapter, we are we will discuss about the bases, its physical properties, and as well as its chemical properties. But before discussing the physical and the chemical properties, it is important to understand that what base is and what is the difference between bases and the LP. So the base is the metal oxide. The metal oxides are known as bases. The metal oxide is a metal attached with an oxygen. As you can see in these examples, this one is a magnesium oxide. Magnesium is a metal and oxide is oxygen, representing oxygen. So when a, uh, when a metal reacts with an oxygen, it will form metal oxide. This one is the sodium oxide and the third one is the potassium oxide. The next thing is alkali. Uh, what is the difference between base and alkali? Alkali is the metal oxide which is soluble in water and in water it produces OH negative ion. If you remember the video of the acids, I told you that acid is a species that produces H positive ion in aqueous medium, while alkali is a species which produces OH negative ion in the aqueous medium. If a metal oxide dissolves in water, it no longer remain a base it become alkali for example this there i have sodium oxide when i dissolve the sodium oxide in water it produces h positive ion plus oh negative ion it means it is it it becomes naoh so naoh is not an uh, base it is a metal hydroxide or you can call it as alkali okay so now the next thing is the physical properties for the base. There are three physical properties for the base. The first thing is that the bases in the alkali are bitter in taste. Uh, like the examples of the bases or the alkalis are toothpaste or detergents. Yeah, definitely detergents, but the toothpaste has a bitter, uh, particular bitter taste. So uh, we termed as like, uh, so we say that the Alkalis are, 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 have a bitter taste. The second thing is the pH. The alkalis have pH greater than 7. The strongest alkali has pH 14. And the weak uh, alkali have pH 7.1, 7.5, 7.6. Uh, like around this 7 to 8. So the third and the last physical property is that Bases or alkali turns the red litmus paper blue in color. So, uh, in the acids, the end point is the red color of litmus paper. The conversion of blue litmus paper to red in color. But for the identification of alkali or base, we uh, for the identification of alkali, we use red litmus paper, which is damp, and it turns blue. So, the end result of for an alkali is the identification of the blue color moving next to the chemical properties we have two chemical properties for the alkalis or for the base the first one is this the neutralization reaction the reaction which we have studied before and the second one is reaction of the base uh the minister base like but it's my alkalis the reaction of an alkali or the base with ammonium salt so first we will discuss the neutralization reaction. Uh, the neutralization reaction is a reaction of an acid with the base or alkali and it results in the formation of two neutral compounds, water plus salt. So that's why we name this reaction as neutralization reaction. This is the equation for the neutralization reaction. Here we have sodium, uh, we have sulfuric acid which is H2SO4, this is an acid and it is reacting with sodium hydroxide which is an alkali and they are they resulted in the production of water and the salt so both of them are the neutral compounds therefore we uh, name this reaction as neutralization reaction so sometimes the examiner demands you to write the ionic equation for the neutralization reaction when they ask to write about the ionic equation you always have to write this equation where the h positive ion from the acid and OH negative ion from the alkali react together to form water. This is the ionic equation for all type of neutralization reaction. Either we are using sulfuric acid, uh, hydrochloric acid, phosphoric acid, the equation will remain same. 
so moving to back to the second equation or the second reaction the second reaction for an alkali is the reaction of an alkali or base with the ammonium salt the product for this the reaction is the salt water and ammonia gas the chemical formula for ammonia gas is nh3 whenever we react an alkali with an ammonium salt we have three type of products one is salt the second is water and the third one is ammonia gas let us see the equation ye equation kis tarah se hoti hai this one is the ammonium carbonate uh, means ammonium salt and it is reacting with sodium hydroxide which is an alkali it gives us three products the first one is ammonia gas the second one is water and the third one is uh, a salt of potassium carbonate so uh, the same for these type of reaction please practice as more equation like you can so that in exam you can write it uh, without any hassle or without any problem uh, the last thing about this chapter is the difference between oxides but if we have uh this is not exactly the part of acidness but it is also important to understand like what oxides are how many categories of oxides are and how they are different from each another but we have three type of oxides the first one is the acid of acidic oxide the second one is the basic oxide and the third one is the amphoteric oxide but the acidic oxides are the non metal oxides for example carbon is a non metal and uh, not the example of carbon we will take the example of uh, chlorine or like chlorine fluorine and oxygen uh, so when uh, um, a non metal like chlorine chlorine or oxygen is reacted with oxygen they form acidic oxides the acidic oxides are the another name for acidic oxide is non metal oxides they have two type of properties the first thing they have ph less than 7 as the name is suggesting they are acid so definitely if the acid have ph less than 7 then acidic oxide also have ph less than 7 the second thing is they react with the bases yani ki ye alkalis ke sath react kar sakte hain ye base ke sath react kar sakte hain the second oxide is the basic oxide the basic oxides are known as metal oxides like uh, sodium oxide potassium oxide and so on since they are basic so it means they have ph greater than 7 and the next thing is they react with acids and the last oxide is amphoteric oxides but these are the oxides which have both properties acidic properties and as well as the basic properties agar hum inko kisi alkali ke sath react karenge then they will act as an acid aur agar hum inko kisi acid ke sath react karwayenge so they will act as a base or an alkali so that's why we name them as amphoteric oxide for the amphoteric oxides we uh, hamare paas ek naam hai jisse aapko easy ho jayega aapke liye isko yaad karna that is zolt yani ke zinc A for aluminium, L for lead, and T for tin. अगर आपके पास कोई भी ऑक्साइड आ जाता है जिंक ऑक्साइड आ जाता है तो जिंक ऑक्साइड इज एम्फोटेरिक ऑक्साइड एल्यूमिनियम ऑक्साइड इज एन एम्फोटेरिक ऑक्साइड लेड ऑक्साइड इज एन एम्फोटेरिक ऑक्साइड टेन ऑक्साइड इज एन एम्फोटेरिक ऑक्साइड मीन्स की अगर आप जिंक ऑक्साइड को सोडियम हाइड्रोक्साइड यानी कि एल्कली के साथ रिएक्ट करेंगे तो इट विल बिहेव एज एन एसिड और अगर आप इसको किसी एसिड के साथ रिएक्ट करेंगे तो इट विल बिहेव एज एन एल्कली तो नॉन मेटल की मैं एग्जांपल लिख देती हूँ ये आपके पास आ जाता है कार्बन कार्बन मोनोक्साइड कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड सो ये सारे जो क्लोरीन वाले हैं इन सबको जो आपके ये कंपाउंड्स आपको नजर आ रहे हैं ये एसिडिक ऑक्साइड्स होते हैं और जब इनको हम वाटर के अंदर डिजोल्व करते हैं तो ये एसिड्स बना देते हैं सो दिस इज द एंड ऑफ दिस चैप्टर एसिड बेस एंड सोल्ट इट हैज टोटल थ्री वीडियो प्लीज अंडर गो these uh, please go through these videos and solve the past papers